Hey y'all, I just wanted to do this video to rant about something that I think is really uh, the fucking important. And I think it's a topic that I've been wanting to uh, do for a while, but just haven't really gotten around to doing it. But now since for the last week, I've been talking to uh, one of my close friends who recently got married and he's been, you know, venting to me about the uh, issues that he's having in his very young marriage. I felt like it was important uh, to do a video giving my opinions on marriage, especially as it concerns men and newlyweds. And um, just talk about basically my overall opinion of marriage. I personally, um, and I may be generalizing here, I personally don't think that marriage is for men. I don't. I, I just don't feel like, at least until they're about 45 plus, I, I'm always very uncomfortable with the idea of men under 40 getting married because I just don't feel like most men are emotionally and psychologically mature enough to deal with all the things that marriage entail and all of the problems and, and drama and issues that women bring to a marriage because we can all admit that women are not easy to 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 deal with you know um men like a very simple life you know women are not that simple and you have to you know uh deal with the things that you know you're going through personally but then also you have to be her backbone and she has to be back, your backbone too. I'm not saying that women are not supportive of men or don't bring anything to the table. But um, I just don't think that men are mature enough to deal with, you know, everything that marriage and commitment and, and, and monogamy entails. I don't feel like most men are able to be sexually exclusive at the age of 25, 28. 30, 35. I, I don't even think it's natural for men. I think men are, are and, and we know this because, I mean, look at the statistics of marriage. They're not, they're not lasting. And when you think of, you know, like infidelity, most men commit infidelity, especially at a higher rate than women do. At least that's the, the, the popular and, and uh, common belief. And it's, it's what I've seen throughout my life, you know, looking at relationships that my female friends have been in and my male friends have been in. I know that both men and women cheat. I think that women are better at cheating, better at hiding, you know, what they what they're doing um outside of their marriage and relationships. But I just don't feel like it's something that that men um should do. I don't feel like they should get married until they're about 45 years old. You know what I'm saying? At least at that age, they got all their fucking out the way. Their hormones start to drop. Their sex drive starts to drop. And I feel like it's just a better... It, 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 it creates a recipe for success in a marriage. Um, because the things that uh, men struggle with as it pertains to marriage isn't as much of a struggle once they're of the age of 45 and they're a little more mature um, and so they're able to fight temptation easy, easier and better and they're able to take on everything that <laughs> that women bring they're able to deal with women and all that, that their shit uh, better because they have more wisdom and um, they're better at controlling and, and managing their own emotions and the way that they react to women. Um, I don't feel like a 25-year-old man can handle that. I don't feel like a 30-year-old guy can handle that. So one of my friends, he just married this woman. Um, and he said they have not fucked since the honeymoon. They got married on December 1st. And he's he has a very high sex drive. She don't have a high sex drive. Uh, his mistake was marrying her way too quick. I know, like, I'm sitting on the toilet, which I am. I sure do off. I just got out of the shower. I like to just stay in my fucking bathroom sometime. <laughs> you know, um, this is where I meditate. This is this is my peace. This is where I get my... Everybody has that spot in their, their apartment or house where they just love to be. And for me, it's my bathroom. I just love to be in my bathroom. But, um, yeah, she's not giving it up. And he's like, bro, she still ain't giving it up. 
And he is expressing to her, he is communicating with her, letting her know that he's sexually frustrated because he hasn't had none since the fucking fourth. They got married on the fourth. She's fat. He says she's lazy. She's eating. It, it, it turned into a big ass well. And she don't want to give it up. And I told him, you have to communicate these things with her. You have to let her know that this is not, this, it, this marriage can't work if you're going to continue doing this. I don't know why it is with women and with men sometimes, but especially women where they feel like once they get a man, they can just drop the ball. They don't have to continue doing the things that they were doing that made that man want to commit to her and marry her. Um, you know, people have to understand that make people talk all this love, shit, love, 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 bullshit, bullshit. Marriage is, is probably 20% about love and 80% about everything else. People don't love unconditionally. Most people don't love people unconditionally. Unless it's their mom or child, children, they don't love unconditionally. And they love you for what who you are today and what you're bringing to the table today. So the moment that you stop bringing those attributes, the moment that you stop being whoever you was when he was married, that life uh, uh, to death do us part, that's bullshit. And that's why I don't like when men commit to those, make those vows because you don't really mean it. You don't really mean that. If your woman turn crazy, you gonna still be able to be with her? If she lose a fucking leg, do you still want to be with her? Same thing with women. Do you want to be with that man if he ain't making the money that he making? Because some of y'all women know that financial security is a big reason and part of why you married that man. Let's not do this. <laughs> so if those other things outside of marriage are not upheld and maintained, the truth, is the, the truth of the matter is you don't want them anymore. You know, if they're not that sweet, loving person that they used to be, if they exper experienced a loss in their life or, you know, something changed them that made them more m mean and, you know, if they're not the sweet person, if they're not the outgoing person that you uh, first met, if they're not the adventurous person, maybe it was certain attributes that you liked in them that made you want to marry them that they no longer have, then what? Are you going to still love the individual? No. Because if they, if they were, when you met them, the person they have become that you no longer like, you wouldn't have married them. So let's stop thinking of fucking funk and let's keep it fucking funk, funky and, and real with ourselves. People do change. And so, and so love is not unconditional. You don't love that person. You love what that person gives you today. You love who that person is today. But what we don't fucking talk about enough in our society is that people change. My mom is in her 50s now and she's out of her marriage. She's contemplating divorce. She said they had just have different, you know, ideas of what marriage should be now. It, her idea of marriage changed. She's a different person now. She gets agitated quicker. Her outlook on life is different. People evolve. People change. And so with that evolution and with that change, you're no longer... The Dorsey that you was in 2014. You're no longer the Keith you was in 2014. While I may look the same and be in the same body, my personality has evolved and changed so much, I basically become a different person. And so it makes sense why marriage doesn't last. Because the person that you was married to in 2010 isn't the same motherfucker that you're married to in 2018. And so people have to understand that. I think that is the biggest thing that people overlook and don't talk about. And the biggest reason why marriages don't last. Because the two parties involved, they, they, they drastically change. And when you change, you're no longer what? Compatible. With change comes incompatibility. Because the person who was a, a fit or match for you or, you know, uh, compatible with you is no longer compatible because they change. They're changing. But I was telling him, like, I don't, I don't, your wife fucked up, you know what I mean? Like, she should know and should have known that you have a high sex drive. 
And for her to think that it's cool to just sit around, get fat, get out of shape, that's not the woman that you marry. You didn't marry an out of shape woman. You married a shapely woman. Now she's getting fat and she's built like a motherfucking baby buffalo. So your level of attraction for her is not going to be the same as it was before y'all got married. And I told him, I think that people should be married for at least a year. Two, not married for a year, I'm sorry. Be together for at least two, three years. That's why people say, why well, y'all ain't married? Everybody want to be want to rush into marriage just for a title. Why do people care about that title so much? That title don't mean shit. Women really boast and brag about that fucking title of marriage. Or I'm married, I'm a wife, or, and, and you know, I have a husband. So what? It don't matter if you ain't happy. It don't matter if that shit don't last more than a fucking decade. What does it matter? I guess because it's the ultimate goal for many women. They feel like it's something special when they're married. But you have to be able to maintain your weight and maintain your sex appeal. And people that just has this idea that marriage is all about unconditional love. It's about love and you should love me and... Uh, you know, uh, the fact that I got a big belly shouldn't matter. And the fact that I, I got stretch marks now shouldn't matter. The fact that I'm ugly now shouldn't matter. The, the fact that I'm, you know, I'm I'm not as adventurous. I don't like to go out as much. I, we would love to have that, but that's just not the real world. And we, we just have to really, these marital ideas that we have are just so unrealistic. They're so unrealistic. Even some of the things it says in the Bible about how you will just be faithful, you know, in spite of. Come on now. P people are not. No, no. That's not the way life works. That's not how people work. People don't love un unconditionally. If you no longer have the qualities and, and, and attributes, you're no longer bringing to the table the things that made your party happy, then why would they want to be with you? You know, it, it, it just doesn't make sense. But, yeah, I, I think it's important to, um, that's why I'm not against people who be uh, engaged for years before they get married. Why rush it? I mean, maybe they rush it for contractual issues, legal issues, things that they want out of the marriage, you know what I mean? You know, I understand that, but um, she don't want to give it up. And I guess she was giving it up and making him happy before the marriage. And then I guess she felt once they got married, she could drop the ball and, and not fuck him regularly. Like, do you think you're going to main keep him uh, from cheating by doing that? Like, everything that you was doing to get him, you have to continue doing those things. Because if you don't, he will leave you for somebody else who will do those things that you're not doing and a woman is willing to bring to the table what you're no longer able and willing to bring. Let's make sure that we motherfucking remember that. Don't think that just because you got his motherfucking children and because you have him now that that won't stop his ass from motherfucking cheating because men want to cheat anyway. Men are not built to be sexually exclusive anyway. You can say that it's natural and y'all don't want to hear that, whatever, whatever. Okay, well, your man motherfucking cheating on you and you don't even motherfucking know it. You can best but motherfucking believe that. You can best believe that. That's why I don't feel it's natural. Because if it was natural, and to me, my belief is something that's natural comes easily. It's not something that has to be forced. It's not something that has to be trained. It's not something that you have to learn to do. It's not something that you have to pray in order to master. You should just know how to do it. But it's not. We are animals, and even animals are not faithful. They don't have married. They don't get married. They fuck and have children. It's a natural, instinctive thing. So all these rules. Uh, that we, we, we place on marriage and all these stipulations, it comes from, from religion. All these rules and all this stuff or, or, or originates from religion. It's not a natural human thing 
for a man to just want to fuck one woman and, and for him to be exclusive, he has to fight temptation. And it's very hard for men to fight temptation and to, you know, control their hormones. When they see another sexy woman, especially if they're much sexier than their wife, they want to fuck. They want to, you know, love ain't going to stop that. It ain't about love. Those two things are not connected. Oh, you, you hurt me and you cheated on me. You don't love me. Having a desire to fuck and not being able to control your fucking hormones has nothing to do with the love that you have for another human being. You can love a friend. You can love your mother. Right? Without wanting to have sex with them. <laughs> they may love you as a friend. They may love you for who you are. You know, but if you're not pleasing them sexually, then of course, obviously, they're going to want to go outside the marriage, especially if you're not giving it up frequently. So women have to understand that. You have to stay in shape. You have to maintain all the things that you were doing to get that man to want to marry you, to keep him. Don't think the fight is over. No, you still have to fight for that man because he will cheat. You may say, but well, that's not what he's supposed to do. He's supposed to stay with me despite my flaws, for good or for bad, worse, for good or for bad, to death do his part. Oh, nah, that sounds good, but that's not life. That's not how humans work. We don't function like that. You want what the church is telling you or you want the truth? <laughs> because what you want out of a man in the marriage is different from what is natural to a man. So, yeah, I'm all for people. Um, you know being engaged for several years before getting married. I'm, I'm all for it. Um, because I think that you really have to get... person don't really show you who they are within the first year or two. You have to really get to know a person to make sure that y'all are truly compatible. Go through thick and thin with them. Make sure you know how they react to pain, how they react to trauma, how they react to, uh, you know, trials and tribulations. Make sure that you've been through every possible thing that you could go through with a person before you marry them because it's at that point that you really begin to understand who the fuck they are. You understand and know every aspect of them. You don't really get to, to, to really know a person truly. Like 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 just the totality of a person within the first year. You gotta be together for some time. You gotta build that thing up. It's a process. But everybody just wanna jump into marriage. Just because they can say, I'm married. Look at me. Don't rush it. It's not something you rush. And that's what he did. Rushed it. He jumped into the relationship, had two kids by you. He should have waited to do that because he already had one. I don't know, people are just so irresponsible, man. I don't understand y'all folks. Y'all just go for having kids. Like, like having kids is, 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 is some sort of hobby. Like, y'all just going to the store picking up a new pair of shoes. No, because you're just stuck with that person for the rest of your fucking life now. And if you're a man, you want to have a responsibility to pay child support to those children if you're no longer with her. And it's much more uh, um, financially feasible to be with your woman than not with them. Because the system and the courses, they, they charge men like crazy for child support. Way much more than it actually takes to provide for a child. They take half your damn check. And then a woman, she don't even have to really do much on her end. Because you provided all that, all the money needed to take care of the damn child. But marriage is not for men uh, below 45. I, I just don't think it is. And, um, you know, I feel sorry that he's in this feeling, he's going through what he's going through now. You know, um, and, uh, you know, I think that he brought it on himself by get married too early too soon too quick and now she don't want to fuck and that's stupid because I don't know what her thinking her thinking is like you should know if you're not fucking your man or pleasing your man especially a man with a high sex drive like you're running him away like you're pushing him to cheat you're asking for him to commit infidelity you have to have like you have to fuck your man oh I'm tired my god you ain't listen you ain't all that tired once in three weeks, y'all haven't fucked since the honeymoon, December 4th. It's December what? 20 fucking second. Y'all still ain't fuck. You that tired? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Not with my homeboy as much as he love to fuck the freak he is. Oh no. Mm-mm. That ain't gonna work. 
that's all I have to say. I don't want to drag this video out too much long. My video is always long. It's almost 20 minutes. Um, it's probably so much more I could have said, but I'm going to just bring it uh, to an end. But yeah, man, it's the reason why these marriages ain't lasting long, man. It's, I just, like I said, I just don't think that marriage is a natural thing for humans, women or, or men. But I definitely feel like men should wait until they're at least 45. You know, to where they just settled down. They didn't have all the pussy that they wanted and needed throughout life. You know, their hormones is not what it used to be. Their desire to fuck is not, is not what it used to be. And I feel like it it makes for, a, you know, a recipe of, for success. You know what I mean? Because the things that um, men do to typically uh, end marriages... You won't have to as much worry about them doing such as cheating, you know what I mean? and Or not being good listeners or wanting to offer support emotionally and mentally. They're able to do those things at a more effective and higher level when they're uh, older in age, you know what I mean? So that's my whole take on uh, this topic. Um, yeah, man. So... Y'all need to realize these things uh, before you get married. Uh, you know, have long talks. Uh, get to know who your partner is before you marry them. And understand that who they are today may not be who they will be tomorrow. Make sure that you know that if they lose a leg, you would still desire to be with them. You know, if they change, you would still want to be with them. I guess there's really no way to really fully know that because you don't know who they're going to change or become. But you have to really know that, you know, it's more than just what they're giving me now. I'm marrying them for more than that. I love them for more than just who they are today. I love I, I, and, and know that that change can happen. But you have to know that like things are not always going to be sweet and perfect now. That's, that's what I said. You have to experience the bad. I don't think that he experienced any bad before they got married. Everything was just peaches and cream. And now that he's experiencing the, the downside of marriage and the trials and tribulations and the struggles and issues that come with being married, I don't think that he can handle it. But that's what happened when you get married too quick and you don't really get to fully experience all that comes with that person. You know, so and that's all I gotta say. I'm gonna bring this video to a close. I always feel like in videos, this is something that I'm leaving out that's really, you know, like important or profound that I'm not saying, and it makes me mad. But <laughs> Jada 47 later. Ah.